Today we're asking how do I plug my Apple TV into my separate audio amplifier? The HowToAV.TV team has the answers right here. We've had a question come in which asks, how do I plug my Apple TV into my audio amplifier? An example of this requirement might be to connect the audio from an Apple TV signal into a surround sound or home cinema system, or in a commercial AV application, perhaps a boardroom environment where the audio from the Apple TV needs to feed through an installed audio or PA system. So let's grab an Apple TV device, take a look at the outputs, and then offer some solutions. First thing we might notice on the Apple TV, a characteristic of most Apple products, is that there aren't a lot of connections on the device. From left to right, we have a power connection, HDMI output, USB connection, optical audio output, and Ethernet connection. And that's about it. So our first option for connecting the audio from the Apple TV to an external amplifier is the optical audio output, which uses a fiber optic cable directly from the Apple TV box to your amplifier. Now there are many home entertainment systems on the market featuring at least one optical audio input. This option is going to be nice and easy because the work's done for you. However, there are many more amplifiers and audio systems on the market which do not feature a digital optical audio input and only have analog audio input options. The solution in this situation is normally to use a DAC or digital to analog converter. A simple, low-cost DAC device will input the digital audio signal from the Apple TV's optical output and convert it to analog audio, usually via dual phonos, which can easily be connected to your conventional analog audio system. There's another option which you might need to consider if the distances between the position of your Apple TV and your display screen exceed the recommended 10 meter limit of the HDMI cable. The output of the Apple TV, which carries both video and audio output signals, can be connected to a HDMI repeater with de-embedding functionality. This not only allows for an increased HDMI signal transmission distance, but also splits off the audio from the HDMI. The picture from the Apple TV's HDMI then comes out through the de-embedder's HDMI output, which in turn connects directly to your television, display screen or projector. Both DACs and HDMI audio de-embedders work in just the same way with other digital AV sources, such as Blu-ray or DVD players, and games consoles to provide the best sound performance via your analog audio system. Thanks for watching HowToAV.TV. We've got lots more audio and AV tips. Just click on the screen now or hit the subscribe button on the How To AV YouTube channel. And don't forget, we love to receive your feedback and AV questions in the comment section below. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.